through Christ Jesus ought not you be loose today? Shouldn't you be well today? Shouldn't you be out of debt today? Shouldn't your financial situation get healed today? Glory to God. Fort Worth, Texas, everybody. Welcome to Southwest Live and welcome to Increase Day here at the Southwest Believers Convention. Tim Fox, along with my good friend Gene Bailey, who's with me again this morning. These are the real convention yeah, folks right here. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, here, you first bet. thing on a Friday morning, <laughs> getting you, after it. You bet. Well, yeah. what an exciting week we've had. It's not over yet. we still got two more days of word coming at you, so no, nope, go anywhere. But a lot right. of things happened this week. The name change. Now That's victory. Right. That's right. VVN is now victory. And some other things going on that we want you to know about. So that's why I brought Pastor Gene in this morning, because he's got a couple of guests that are going to tell you about some special things coming up that you want to be a part of. So Gene, I'm going to hand it over to you. Do you feel like let's, people are watching behind I, us? Yes. Yeah. I feel like there's eyes behind, behind us. us. Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Would you please welcome Jesse Duplantis and Pastor George Pearson? <laughs> Hello, sir. Nice Good morning. You. Dr. Good morning, Gene. Pastor. What is happening coming up? You guys can be seated. Uh, what is happening coming up at the end of September? There's a special event coming up, and we wanted you to come on and let everybody know what's happening. Well, what's so amazing, ladies and gentlemen, is, is that Kenneth Copeland Ministries is doing something they've never done before. And what's happening is we, we, we're going to make people aware of what God's going to do. We've taken KCM into the future so big and so strong yeah. and so far that your children's 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 children will be able to see it. And we're going to have what we call a victory time. And a lot of people don't realize, Gene, what has happened. You know, I've been on television a long time. I started when I had brown hair. That's a long time ago. You know. and, uh, uh, and, I, and I've been on a lot of networks and, and things of that nature. But what people that didn't understand, when Brother Copeland opened up that network, the BBOVN, which is now Victory, um, every broadcaster that you see is not paying a dime. And when I asked him, I said, oh, are you serious? He said, I'm so in C. No one has ever done that, yeah, George. Yeah. Gee, no one has ever right. done something like that. And I thought, you know, I've been on, and I, nothing against, nothing wrong with charging people. I don't have a problem with that. But I thought, my God, see, this is something unbelievable, impossible. But yet, Brother Copeland and Sister Gloria have always broke barriers in everything they That's ever true. did. And ladies and gentlemen, you will never touch the world without faith. So we're going to do a victory time. We're going to give people an opportunity to get involved in something so powerful that it'll take care of their children's 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 children. See, and that's what it's all about. You said something the other day about the whole purpose is we're raising awareness of yes. the network. Yes. You know, Pastor George, can you speak to that? How important is it for us to raise awareness yeah, of what we, we're doing? We need to get word out there. There is a word of faith Amen. network that's yes. out there that's preaching the word 24 seven. Right. And for people to be able to know that and be aware of it, and the fact that we're on so many different outlets, right. and then we're working right now on DirecTV. Right. And the difference between Dish and DirecTV is about yeah. Well, well, it will effectively triple our outreach. Triple the Thanks outreach. Lord. Yes, absolutely. And we need to make people aware of. That's what's all right. You can on. clap. Yeah. yeah, that's good. <laughs> and what's so amazing, Gene? It's it's an awareness. People say, "Well, no, you're just raising money." No, we we're not raising money. We're catching fish. That's you right. see, Jesus never <laughs> raised right. money. He caught fish. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. people, he said, he made us fishers of men. And I believe this is what Victory uh, Network is all about. It's fishing for men. And listen, don't just catch them and then let them go by the wayside, but teach them to grow into a big fish. That's right. You see what I'm saying? And you touched on something and I just, how unusual. Now I've been a part of a lot of these throughout yes. all these years. Yes. But many, many years ago, many you worked at PTL, didn't you? That's right. I was on PTL. Yeah. When, <laughs> yeah, when my hair was a little bit darker color as well. <laughs> so in, in light of that, what's unusual in all of this is this is by you guys, the yes. programmers. Yes. All how many 25 yes. programmers that are on the network? Yes. 29, 29 programmers. programmers yes. 29 programmers are coming together yep. for the ministry to do when this. When in all your television history, have you ever heard anything Never. like that? Never. Never. See, when the, I was in my study, ladies and gentlemen, you may not realize, and the Lord began to deal with me. And he said, you know, has Kenneth and Glory blessed your ministry? I said, yes, it has. It's been powerful. Yeah. He said, well, what, what's wrong with reciprocity? And I learned it from Happy Caldwell many years ago, the law of reciprocity. And the Lord said, do something, Jesse. 
And I said, yes, Lord. So I wrote a letter and we sent it out to yeah. all the broadcasters. Yeah. And listen, and I want you to understand this. <clears throat> I said, we're going to do this all at our own expense. We're not charging KCM or anything. That was, I'm coming for my, the whole time. The whole time. I'm going to pay my own hotels, my own yeah. food, blah, blah, this and that. And so we could give you an opportunity to help your child, your child, your grandchild, a good man leave an inheritance for his children and children. But if you don't know that, yeah. you see, and what's going to happen, in, and I, it kept coming up, every available voice, every available voice. I don't know of any other voice in the world that speaks such faith. Yeah. such power. So it's an awareness, you see. This right. is not just, quote, uh, we're going to preach about faith. No, it's an awareness of what you can receive, what's out there. And all you got to do is reach for it. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to say something that's going to shock some people. Every prayer, every desire you've ever believed for has already been answered. How yeah. do you know that? Amen. Well, how come we don't have it? Because somebody has not obeyed. Mm. See, and the Bible yeah. said it's better to obey than to sacrifice. Now, the church will teach you how to suffer. Just beat me, Jesus. But no, I don't want to beat you, boy. I just want to bless you. You see, but we haven't learned how to obey. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, it's going to be unique every night. It's going to be powerful because when we finish this thing, you'll be so aware, not just of Kenneth and Gloria Copeland, yeah. but you'll be so aware of what the world needs. Yeah. See? And we're going to give you an opportunity. And look what the scripture says. As we therefore have opportunity, let us do good to all. Watch this. Especially oh, yeah. to those of the household, household of faith. Of faith. Yep. So maybe the yep. reason why Jesus hadn't come, because no one's ever done this before. No you know, one ever did a whole network and let the broadcasters come on for free. The, the whole idea of this came during your visionary conference yes. that you have every year. Yes. And Terry and I attended that conference. It's an awesome conference, Thank by you. the way. Thank you. Yeah. And so we had lunch with Jesse and Kathy yeah. and Rick and Denise Renner were there. The Cassis were there. We were actually surrounded by broadcasters of the network. Right. And we got to talking and all of a sudden he started talking about the possibility of this, this victory thought Amen. and what it would be like. And I just got chills. Amen. Right. The anointing of God came down on the table and the vision of that is so big. What we're going to be doing is from September the 29th, which is on a Sunday, right on through to October 2nd right. on Ooh. the network. We're going to be all together. All of the Rick and Denise Renner coming from Russia. Just Praise the Lord. Be with us for the whole week. I'm glad you brought that up because we have, I don't know if we've ever had absolutely all of the programmers yeah. in just a few days all together yeah. at one time. Hallelujah. It's like, you know, and we were thinking about this with the network. You know, Jesse, the network is really, if you like Southwest Believers Convention, that's what the network is. That's it. Yes. It, it is, is 24 hour a day yeah. Believers Convention. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So and you know, that's what it is. You know, when God told me, he said, given an awareness, one time the Lord spoke something to me. I want everybody to listen to this. He said, Jesse, make me wealthy. And I thought, Jesse, well, look, Lord, you ain't, you ain't doing too bad. <laughs> you, know, you, got, you know, you got gold streets, diamond, barrel, jasper, yeah. onyx, ruby, yeah. pearly. And he said, Jesse, I don't count my wealth by that. I count my wealth by the souls I possess. Oh, that's good. He said, now, make me wealthy. Now, what oh, did God good. tell Kenneth and Gloria? Go on every available voice. For what? For souls to get born again. Yes. But not only just to get born again and stay a baby, but to grow to the fullness of the stature That's of good. Christ. Spiritually, yep. physically, yep. financially. Yep. Right now, I only have one daughter, one granddaughter. My, my granddaughter at this time, I'm doing this is 11 years old. But I'm already teaching her principle and telling her what her grandfather has already done, what her grandfather is doing, and what her grandfather is going to do. So that when she becomes a full grown person, right. she'll be able to touch her children. Yep. See? see, and when you understand that, that's that opportunity. And ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be exciting, Gene. It is going to be gonna exciting. exciting. One of the things that we're going to be doing too, Gene, and you, I think you were in the meeting with me with right. Brother Copeland, and he started listing out the things that he wants to do on this network. Amen. Children. That's right. Yes. Children. He wants to teach children Amen. the word of faith. Amen. So that's one of the things. And on, that, on the Victory Thon, we've got all of these ministers coming. Creflo Dollar, Keith Moore, Jerry Savelle. Yes. Jesse's going to be with us, Rick and Denise Renner, on and on and on. Right. There's going to, I, see, I would think there's going to be a whole lot of preaching going on. There is going to be a lot of preaching. On. So you want to make sure you tune in to the network September 29th, Sunday night. Amen. No better way. Yep. Sunday night was always the, the real people came to church on Sunday <laughs> yeah, night. That's right. You know, that's right. That's when the Holy Spirit, and, you know, you had yeah. the Holy Ghost breakdown. That was it. Well, it doesn't stop on Sunday night. It goes Amen. through Sunday night. 
Monday morning, Monday night, Tuesday night, all the way through Wednesday night. Wednesday night. And, and who knows if we'll keep going after that. Amen. Who knows what God's going to do. Yeah. So you want to yeah. make sure that you watch it. So Jesse, I want to say thank you for being thank a you. part of what you're doing for this. Amen. And I want you to look at that camera yes. and tell the people exactly why they should come. One more time. Well, first thing first, when this starts to happen, I want you to call friends and tell them to turn the television on because they're going to be blessed by God's power. See, what's going to happen? Let me tell you what's going to happen is when we're going to speak, we're going to speak words of faith so full and so powerful that it's going to help you spiritually, yeah. physically, and financially. Listen, God's word, God told me the other day, he suggested my warehouses are full and all I want to do is bless my people. We do in Victory Thon to bless people, to give people an opportunity to, to be blessed, not only in, uh, in this life, but their children's children's life. And when God spoke that to me, he said, make people aware. Ladies and gentlemen, you better get aware because God, the blessings come in like a tsunami. You understand what I say? That's and right. not a tsunami of destruction, yeah. Yeah. but a tsunami of blessing. And people, people that don't know God are going to notice it. I tell you, when we finish this thing, people are going to know it's, it's going to go by. I can hear the Holy yeah, Ghost. I, I want to speak. It's going to be immediate results. You understand? You know, immediate results. Sow and seed, boom, harvest is coming, my Lord. Think about it. As soon as it hit the ground, boom, just coming up. I'm telling you, you better get ready because God's word is true. And I don't do something unless God tells me to do this. And when he spoke this to me, I tell you, I came to George and I came I, and I, I talked to, uh, at that board meeting. I said, man, we need to do this to make people aware, but also give them an opportunity. Why? Because once we give you an opportunity, then opportunities are coming to yep. you. And brother, I'm not talking about one or two or three. I'm talking about one day, I'm believing this, that you're going to get financially the best and get a big check and say, honey, what you want me to do with this? <laughs> Think about that. You ever had that instead of saying, I got to pay this bill? What are we going to do with it? I've been debt free since 1982. And every time I, I, I get money, I say, Kathy, what you want me to do with this? And she takes it, George, and I don't know what she does with it. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so it works. Be ready because it's happening. Yeah. Amen. Last words, Pastor George, real quick. Yeah, I Jesse, I want to thank you. As a oh, board thank member, you, as a minister of the gospel, you've been such a help to us. And Jesse and I are co-producers of this. I oh, know, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We are co-executive producers. <laughs> hey. Right? And we're glad to do it. <laughs> yeah. Would you thank give you. Pastor George and Jesse to plant us a hand? Thank yeah. you. Much mm -hmm. appreciated coming thank out you this very morning. Much. All right, well, somewhere, uh, somewhere back there, there's Pastor Greg and Buddy Pilgrim out standing in a field. Pastor Greg. Thanks, Gene. We are over in the exhibit hall, and we were outstanding in our field earlier <laughs> in the week and did the salute and everything. But, but today is, is a different day. It's a little more focused, a little more serious. And so we've moved over to the partner mosaic and where, where our partners are. And I'm with Buddy Pilgrim. Hi, Greg. Who is, a board, hi, who is a board member of KCM. You know, a lot of times people give to causes and all the money doesn't go to where it's supposed to go. Yeah. You know, because of overhead. Yeah, a lot of overhead and a lot but of organization. But you get to see every, as a board member of this ministry, you see it all. I do. I see everything from Brother Copeland's salary to what we spend on putting on this convention. And I watch how well the money is spent and how judicious we are about spending it on the right things, not just anything. And I'll tell you, a very small percentage of this ministry's overall income goes to overhead. You still have to have overhead in any organization, but a very small percentage of them. The vast majority of what you would sow into Kenneth Copeland Ministries goes directly to the work for the benefit of partnership. I see this, we're believing for one million partners. Yes. Why is that important? Well, because a million partners will help us get the job done. We can't do this alone. Brother Copeland says it all the time. He can't accomplish everything that God's called him to do without the help of partners. And we need not only individual partners, Greg, and you know this from being a pastor, we need churches that will partner with that us as so well. True. If you think about it in like the business terms, I'm a businessman. I think about wholesale and retail. Wholesale is, is bigger groups of customers than retail. Churches are the wholesale side of partnership. I'll tell you, if you're a pastor out there, or even if you're just a, a congregant, a member of a church, go to your pastor. Tell them to tell people in your church about it, not because we're trying to get a dime from your church. That's not it. We'll help get money to your church because if you'll get your people connected to Kenneth Copeland Ministries and they learn the things that Brother Copeland teaches and that Jerry teaches and Jesse and all the others that are connected with this ministry, your church will grow, your church will prosper, your people will prosper. You'll see increase in your own congregation. It happens all the time. It's even happened this week as I've walked around yeah. and talked to people and they'll say, I'm from this place or I'm from that place. 
is there a church like KCM? Yeah. Is there a church like Eagle Mountain near me? Could you start one? Could you send one of the Bible college students? Yeah. I've had it happen this week. And so if you're in one of those cities and we don't know about you, we need to know about you. Yeah. But partnering, your church partnering, here's the deal. Every all the great people that came to my church in San Diego were, were referred to me from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. What other ministry points people to churches? I they mean, a lot of other a lot of other ministries are actually concerned about not telling you about a church because they want the yeah. money to come to right. them. This ministry in Kenneth is so good about pointing people to a local church. And when the fires hit in San Diego many years ago, I got a call from Kenneth Copeland Ministries wanting to, disaster relief, yeah. wanting to know if we were okay, if anybody in our church was affected, because yeah. they wanted to help me yes. as a pastor. Yeah. This booth that we're at right now, or this spot, you're going to see this later on. Here's what I want to ask you. Okay. We, we were in the wheat field, yep. man standing in his field while you're, yeah. and now I've got a city bridge. What's the correlation with the bridge and the. Two the, things. What's this? Two things. The bridge, you'll hear about this this morning at the end of the partner service. The bridge is an analogy that describes how you connect. You as an individual out there, connect with the work of the ministry that we do here. A bridge connects two sides. Partnership is how individuals and churches and businesses connect with the work of the ministry, share in the rewards for the ministry, share in the benefits of the ministry, and pray for and support the ministry prayerfully and financially. It's a two-way street. There are benefits going in both directions. This particular image right here of the Brooklyn Bridge is really important because you probably heard Brother Copeland say, I want your photograph. And he's not just saying that, he is serious as he can be. There's this mosaic that's been created out of 14,000 partners' photographs. And he called one day, he called Pastor George, and then Pastor George called me and said, how big would a banner be if there were a million partners' pictures in it? So I started doing the calculations, how big it would be. It just took me a couple of minutes to run through the numbers, decided it would be 90 feet wide by 120 feet tall. Oh, well, let's build it. That's big. Let's build yeah, the bear. Yeah. Brother Copeland originally said, let's produce one for Southwest. I said, I don't think we can find a place to put it. So we illustrated that concept with this bridge right here, with the Brooklyn Bridge with a 90 by 120 foot banner hanging off of it, all to represent a million partners supporting this ministry. And a bridge ministry. is a two-way street. It is a two-way street. And it, and it crosses the, the gulf between yeah. us. Yeah. You know, we, 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 were we got in, about a minute left. We, we were in that field, outstanding in our field yes, we were. the other day, the wheat field. Salute. If you, if you missed that, uh, it's a shame that you missed it. We've got a wheat field set up here for people to, reminded, to be reminded to harvest on their seed. But the first thing you have to do, we're giving out these packets of seed today to remind people, if you want to really become a partner, you activate your partnership by sowing a seed. And once you've sown it, then you can reap an abundant harvest, Greg. There is no better ministry to partner with than this one. And it's at whatever level God leads you to partner at. Brother Copeland's never gonna tell you other than the, the biblical minimum. But I'm just, two I'm just, cents, a, little, two I'm just cents. a little like, you don't have much, I'm on a fixed income. People say that, what can they do? Brother, Brother Copeland said, listen, the biblical minimum for becoming a partner is the widow's mite, which is two pennies a year. Any of us can, if we're called to partner with this ministry, can sow two pennies a year. But I tell you what, you're going to want to sow more than that. And God's going to bless you so you're capable of sowing more than that as well. These are real seeds. Those are real seeds. I'm taking them. Yeah. And you, you can get a real harvest as well. And the benefits of the harvest That's also. Exactly right. That's exactly right. Buddy, thank you so much for what you do here at the ministry. Thank you. Truly really appreciate it. We want to kick it back over to you now, Tim, in the main auditorium. All right, Greg. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Our next guest this morning is someone that you see all the time. Anytime you go to Kenneth Copeland Ministries meeting or even EMIC, you see this gentleman, but very few of you have ever had a chance to meet him or get to know him. So we're going to spend a little bit of time this morning letting you do that. Welcome David Ellis to the program. Thank you. Good morning, my friend. It is the morning. It is the morning. You know, I didn't think musicians got up this early. Well, we usually don't, yeah. but I did for you. At the crack of noon is yeah, usually what. There you go. <laughs> Uh, you know, you have a rich, rich family history in yeah. ministry. Uh, I want to talk a little bit briefly about that because I want to get into all the things you've been doing with Brother Copeland. But sure. your, your family has been in ministry for a long time. Uh, your uncle, talk right. about your uncle and your dad and, and their ministry. I can see a picture. That's my dad and yeah. my mom and all of those photos. Well, you'd have to go back four generations. Wow. My dad, my granddad, and my great-granddad, but specifically 
uh, as you start getting a trail toward Oral Roberts and Kenneth Copeland, right. you know, there was a healing revival that hit this nation yeah. that primarily took place under the big tents. Right. So my dad, he played for Oral Roberts, uh, Jack Coe, William Branham, uh, not Brother Allen, right. but it was always in that same time zone. Yeah. So I was born in 61. Right. So uh, Vep, right. I call him Uncle, Uncle Vep. Vep. <laughs> Technically, he's my cousin. I oh. think the granddads are brothers, right. but to me, he's just Uncle Vep. I'm talking cool. about Vep Ellis Sr., who was the music director for Oral Roberts. Wow. So my dad, now there were other musicians as right. well. Right, right. But my dad was simultaneously pastoring a church and playing the organ with Vep wow. for Oral Roberts. Goodness. So I was kind of born. Yeah. I didn't have a choice. Yeah, much, yeah, it was pretty much the die was cast for you. you know, it's it? just, <laughs> I just followed a trail. Well, then how'd, how'd you get hooked up with Brother Copeland? Tim, in, uh, okay, let me think. 1994, uh, I was doing a, a recording. Right. There at Eagle Mountain. Uh -huh. I was playing the piano for a record for Ray Jean Wilson. Well, at night, there was a, 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 remember the motorcycle rallies? Yes, sir. When there was about, I don't know, 30,000 people Lots on the folk. property? Yes. Way too many yes. to count. way too many to count. <laughs> well, Wynn Coots, who was engineering, producing the record, he came up to me and he, he said, um, hey, we don't have a keyboard player for the service tonight. You want to play? I was like, sure. I'll play for it. It's 1994. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I can't even remember who led worship that night. It was just a couple songs. But then Brother Copeland came out on the platform. I've never played for him before. Right. So he greeted the people, shout amen, somebody, and everything. But he walks over to the piano. I'm not making this up. He says, you know the song, Swing Low? Said, really? Yeah. I said, yeah, I think I do. I think I do. So he sang that. But then the funnest part was, or the scariest part for me was, out of that, now, I don't know if he'll remember this or not, but I certainly do. He, I just noodling, you know, what we call noodling, sure. playing underneath sure. him while, he, while he's talking. He starts singing in the spirit and making up a song. Now, had you ever experienced anything like that before? Well, yeah, with Phil yeah. Driscoll, sure. which scared the thunder out of me <laughs> when I was, no one scared me like Phil Driscoll. I was, I was only like 16, 15 when I started playing for him. Right. And you can't write a script for Phil Driscoll. Right. Whatever he tells you he's going to do, he's not going to do it. <laughs> and so that was my indoctrination into forget the script, just follow him. Just follow but him. Brother Copeland just started making up a song. Yeah. I was in his heart. Right. And I remember thinking, hey, you know, uh, Jesus, if you've ever helped me, help right. me help right me now. Because I'm, you know, and, yeah. and so it was after that meeting, uh, that motorcycle crusade in 94, that Wynn came to me and said, Brother Copeland wants to know if you'd help us in all the conventions. So really, yeah. that was how it And began. you've been all over the world with him. I mean, you've been literally around the world with him. Yeah, especially in the last couple years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. More so now. This is in Nigeria, the video we're watching here. This is David playing in Nigeria. Okay, you guys, there's 55,000 people in that room. I don't yeah. know if you can tell it or not. Right. And I remember that service, he was singing, How Great Thou Art, and, and this is the truth, Tim. Right. He started singing it, but if you can imagine 55,000 people start singing so loud that they overtook yeah. him singing the song. It was powerful, but <clears throat> when you say all over the world, it's more now in the last couple of years than it was 94, 95, 96 in the, what I call the early You're experiencing days the same thing the rest of us are. It's like, he's not slowing down. No. It's like, an it's an acceleration. I know. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't well, it? Well, I ask you, you know, <laughs> the guy who helps Dr. David Weeder. Right. I said, whatever you're feeding him, you better feed me. Right, because <laughs> I'm going to have to be around. all <laughs> like just pedaling as fast as we can to yeah. keep up with him. But <clears throat> I'm telling you. Now, the thing I've noticed about you is when you, you play, you don't play, you play. I mean, I you, you get into what you're doing. I can't hold still. Here. I mean, it's a, now look at this. You ever thought about doing an exercise video? Yeah. I mean, seriously, you ought to do something where you... I wish I didn't even see that because, <laughs> it, I don't know. I mean... What, what David said. Right. You know, I'm going to worship God with all my heart, soul, strength. Right. I've got... Wait, look at it. Okay. Look, I mean, I'm, look. <laughs> no, I don't want to see that. I, mean, <laughs> I don't want to... 
Well, I'm simultaneously, I really am singing and worshiping and I love to do that. But if people see me, like they may see me going one, four, three, five. I'm, I'm, yeah. we went, right. people, okay, I'll let you a little inside secret here. We may have gone off script. Yeah. And so Maybe. there's, there's, <laughs> there's a way that I can hold the band right. together. They're, they're not looking at charts, right. Right. but it's called the Nashville system. Okay. And so there's ways, you, you know, a one yeah. chord, a four chord, a five right. chord. It's pretty hard though to play with both hands and call a six chord. <laughs> <laughs> and so you need, some, you need extra fingers, right? I do, yeah. but. Okay, the, 30 seconds. Sum up your time with Kenneth Copeland. Sum up my time with Kenneth Copeland. Or sum up him in your eyes. Okay, it, yeah, it would be. <clears throat> I mentioned a moment ago. Yeah. My dad was a pastor. Yeah. My granddad, my great granddad, all my uncles. Yes, they were musicians, but they yeah. simultaneously pastored. Right. And this is it. And this is what I wish people knew that Kenneth Copeland carries the partners yep. in his heart. Everywhere. Like yep. a pastor carries his congregation. That's good. See, he's a prophet and a teacher. That's good. But he never gets away right. from the partners like a pastor never yeah. gets away from his congregation. Yeah. He carries those, yeah, he a parry carries those yep. members. Yep. yep. A pastor carries yep. those members. That's good. But the Copeland carries the partner. That's good. That's Just good. like a partner does over his church. Listen, I appreciate you doing that this Oh, this morning. is a blast. And listen, after watching that video, don't be surprised on some Sunday if I get up there behind you and just start mimicking you. Hey, you're welcome. Just so I get any, some exercise. I'll jump mean, up there anytime. I might, I might lose about 10 pounds watching you do that. That's why I'm thin. <laughs> I just jump a lot. <laughs> Thanks for getting up and doing this this good morning. Good to see friend. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, man, we got some great things happening here. Listen, you know, you watch the broadcast. Yeah, thank you very much. You watch the broadcast and you see some of these testimonies that we do, these longer testimonies. You ever wondered how those are put together? Take a look at this. We'll show you how. I'm Joe Weiss, and this is my wife, Jessica, and we are from Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm Avery Jackson, and this is my wife, Andrea Jackson. And my name is Justin Ward. This is my wife, Barbara Ward, and we are from Bentley, Kansas. We said no matter what we hear, see, or feel, we're going to believe we've got our healing and we're canceling that appointment. Lord, how can I help people who have brain problems like my grandma? That was my dream, just to get married and have kids and started having things checked, is there an issue? At the time she gave me the Gloria Copeland, God can turn this around. Whether you're faking a laugh or you're not, your body will still have the same physiologic response, which is your endorphins and other uh, um, good neurochemicals and other chemicals will have a cascade that will help to heal um, any cells that are going awry. He was pacing kind of back and forth and just stopped and looked directly at me. And he said, you've been wanting something for a long time. So God's gonna give it to you. I've been partners for at least 20 years. I'm, I don't know the exact date, but at least 20 years that I can recall. Um, she was listening to the daily broadcast and, and just mm -hmm. that was what really was taking our faith to a new level. We were actually blessed with three children in three years. <laughs> God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think. Our lives have been forever changed as a result of KCM. Uh, that's fun. Those are always fun. Uh, Friday, Tim. Good morning. This is the first time I've seen you this morning. We Normally we see each other when we're doing makeup, but we didn't see each other this morning. You look great this morning. Thank you really do. No, you do. You do. I mean, really, look, we both got the watercolor ties on today, that, which, yeah, looks good. You, you're, you're waiting for it, right? No, I'm <laughs> waiting for it. You know, He's waiting for it. Are the, you waiting for the, it? The I'm waiting for it. shoot a drop. <laughs>